and full of hunger. But there's a great place and caring place just before the swing bridge to stop and fill that crave filled belly. It's called Taber Snack, and oh, that's good. Okay, we're here with Chantel, the owner of Taber Snack. Great name, first of all. Thank you. <laughs> uh, any, anybody who might be familiar with the French language knows that it's a play on. It's a play on the no, swear. swear. Yeah, what are you I doing know, now? No. You're freaking everybody out. No, that's okay because now it's allowed to swear. <laughs> you know, if it's true, like it's allowed to swear. So yeah. you don't look bad. So you can see Taber Snack, like, like it's a good swear. All right, so we have some burgers on the grill right now with yeah. some customers, but this is much more than just a simple ship truck. I mean, you focus in on fresh ingredients, unique stuff, and not just deep fried things as well. No, 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 no. Um, it's funny enough, like before owning the, the food truck, I have never deep fried anything before. So, so it was quite new for me. I, I like good cuisine, and uh, there were no cuisine around to my liking, so that's why. Okay, well, let's go over this. Okay. Here in Ontario, we say poutine, but in Quebec, you say... Poutine. 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 Poo, as in, well, we know what No, no, mean. I was like, put in. Put in. No, I was going to say, like, poo, like Winnie the Pooh, and tin, like tin can. Poutine. Oh, it's a great way Is of saying it. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if the customer doesn't see it, there's diamonds in every single of our patties. So everybody that's ordering a burger, it has a diamond, diamond. I mean, a pattern, a pattern, oh, a pattern. On, on the burger. On the burger, yeah, you just, yeah, I, yeah. You're charging like what? How much is the burger here? It's $6. Okay, because it's not $6,000. No, no. See, and the key is to turn it, and then, yeah, yeah. you got to turn it, and then you get, I call it the Ponderosa. <laughs> they were famous not so much for the flavor but for the design and that, that's what the people like to see the caramelization yes the, the, the grill marks per se yeah and if I use the timer so I want to make sure that everything's going to be cooked enough so so it's not raw okay. but but not overcooked you know there's a place in Toronto called sushi burger it didn't work because you don't no. want the raw meat no. No, but still you want pink. Yeah, yeah. You want All my burger juice. is pink, so so sometimes people they have to ask like, well done. So then, well, okay, yeah, you know, you like it's Angus beef we're serving, so it doesn't have to be well done. But some for they prefer to have it well done, yeah. you know. So it's all about burgers these days, isn't it? People love the burgers. Yes. Right. So now. Some yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. So as soon as it rings, so there's a minute left. As soon as it rings. Then I'll put the cheese and I'll start cooking the bun. And meanwhile, I'm gonna take the, this customer's order. Set the timer. So two traditional, four drinks, and a four ounce. It's going to be 29. We're, we're then, really meanwhile, now, now you take the buns. The buns. You open them so the outside is being grilled. Yeah. Like that, 
And then you're gonna hit the timer that shows 15 seconds. The outside, you mean the, the inside? Out, no, no, the outside. The outside. Because who needs to have the inside? Well, I, I don't know. I've never really asked. Yeah. Okay. No, no. That one here has 15 okay. seconds of and then start. Okay. Yes. And these tomatoes, they're from my garden. From your own garden. Oh, yes. to do. You're good. Tell uh, me about your gravy. What do you do with it? I don't take my bath with it. No, good. Now I reduce some wine. Why? Before building it. So yeah, yes. Look at that. Yeah. Smooth like the bum of a baby. That's, That's why it's it not is. a gravy, but it's a sauce. A sauce. It's a sauce. A sauce. Okay. It's a sauce. The gravy is thick and lumpy. Yeah, okay. We don't like it. Yeah, no. Close them. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you know why? Why? I'll, I'll tell you why. Because I use um, highly compostable containers. Okay. They're made out of a cardboard. Okay. If you do that, and if the gentleman has to drive five minutes, the cheese will be sticking to the lid. Oh, okay. Well, you don't want that. So I put a wax paper. The wax paper. No point with the wax not. paper portion of this whole segment. Explain to me. And also, I, I, I skipped that day in school. <laughs> Wax paper was on a Thursday, and uh, box closing was on a Friday. I forgive you, and I'm sure Lawrence is forgiving you. Lawrence, I'm sorry. No worries. So, besides the regular everyday tin, yes. uh, I'm a jerk and you make a jerk chicken, so it's all gonna work great. Okay, so uh, so you got this idea when you were down in the Caymans. Yes. In Grand Cayman. So uh, jerk chicken, it's not the chicken that's a uh, jerk, it's the, the spicing, The right? rub, yes. The rub, it's about rubbing. Yes. Different show, different network. That's it. So, uh, <laughs> so um, and it's gotta be spicy, right? It's tasty, spicy, but it's not hot, spicy. Not hot. It's just that there's a blend of 16 different spices Name going into the rub. Name them in the order. I don't know. I don't okay. know. I don't know. All and right. I don't know. Oh, and some cayenne. So yes, only the traditional poutine has the big thing. Okay. Uh, because uh, if I was to put the big thing in to debone the entire leg, 
it would fall everywhere. There is a chicken leg that's been jerked and, and barbecued sitting in there deep frying right now. Sweet Mary. Oui, monsieur. Voilà. So now, I think you're gonna like it. And after that, maybe if you're nice, I'll give you some onion rings. Okay, so the first layer down. And then you can put the curds. Yeah, you put the curds. Now and the second then layer. second layer. to step back for this. It was so monumental. Yeah, and it, it's almost always falling like that. Yeah. But that's okay, it's worth it. Montel that was fantastic. Mm. It's the second best seller put in. It is so delicious. It's got the onions add just a little chunk of of that kind of almost bistro flavor, right? Yeah. With the with the wine gravy. French fries are cooked perfectly and the chicken is so tender and the, just a little bit of spice on it makes it delicious. This is fantastic. make burgers and fries, but you know what also goes great with the burger? Onion rings, and here at Taber Snack, they do them fresh. Right, Chantel? Oh, Look yes. She's doing them fresh. Now, speaking Always. of fresh, while you're cutting that, look at this basket of goodness. This is what kind of separates a place like this from other chip trucks, and the fact that you really try to focus on good, fresh ingredients. Yes. And it has to be, to me, it's very important to be homemade. Like, I love to cook, so... And um, I want to make sure that um, people, when they try it, they know it's, it's, it's real, you know, it's homemade. So onion rings, I'm a fan of onions myself. It's my favorite vegetable. That's why I, I, I have the pickled onions. Onions um, are favorite vegetable. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh... That says a lot about you, Chantel. That onion's my favorite vegetable. Yeah. So the onion rings are gluten-free. Oh, fantastic. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting them onto the rice flour. My onion ring batter here is a gluten-free onion ring. Uh, so it's kind of batter. like we're judging without the different things, right? Yeah. Flour, batter. And yes, batter has a Rice flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, sugar, oh, there's sugar everywhere. Uh, paprika for the color, and soda water and one egg. So like that, as easy as that. And they're gluten free, hey, they're almost healthy. These are are monster rings. That's right? why. These are like royal rings. These are these are cheap. I only know you on this is my first job kind of ring. This is I'm a successful lawyer. Here's a ring kind of ring. See and what I'm saying? That's why on the menu it's written giant on a ring. And people are saying giant. What's giant? Like the size? No, no. Say like it'd be in it's... en it'd be giant. Giant? Yeah, yeah, that sounds better than giant. Okay. <laughs> or jumbo. And then I uh, see like uh, the, we reach almost a color now. They're not the prettiest ring you may have, but it's very tasty. All right, these look fantastic. I'm going in. Yeah. I'm going in. These look great. Oops. Like right. this is how light the batter is. Almost healthy. I mean, it's come on. It's the onion that does it too, right? Like it's yeah. a nice sweet onion. Spanish onion. Because like many onion rings are have too much batter. 
this is onion bonanza. It's like the Olympics, look at that. Not really. But it's like, it's, it's fantastic as an Olympic ring. We're going yeah. for gold. 